All right, again, this is from your mailbag. What do you think they do at defensive end and defensive tackle then? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's interesting because you don't have a first-round pick, right? So you throw that, okay, you could address it that way. Well, you know, can you address it with a pick in the mid-40s, maybe one of those spots? You know, I think you need two D tackles. Um, maybe, you know, maybe two new starters, at least one starter to pair with. A Jordan Elliott or Perry and Winfrey for sure. Um and then you need a starting end opposite Miles Garrett because Clowney's not going to be back. I don't think you can count on Alex Wright or Isaiah Thomas to be ready. So that means it's three, I think, three guys that are going to be two starters and then another rotation guy across that front. Um, and I think it's probably trades and free agency. Maybe you rely on one of those spots for the draft. But, you know, that's such a – first of all, the draft is a crapshoot. You never know who's going to be there. And, you know, if you think you have a roster that's going to compete or needs to contend, compete for the division title, you know, make a run in the playoffs, you can't rely on rookies to come in and do that for you. So I, I wouldn't be stunned at all if it were three veterans through free agency slash trades. Yeah, and again, um, it needs a massive upgrade. You know, the, the younger guys might be rotational pieces. Um, you, you let them fight it out to see who, right. who those rotational pieces are going to be.